Tailwind CSS, the front-end utility framework you've probably heard about or even seen in some projects but never quite understood what the hype was and why so many front-end developers swear by it. That's alright. I didn't understand it either, so let me break it down for you. Tailwind is a utility-first CSS framework. Instead of writing custom CSS rules and naming your classes, you style your elements by stacking small single-purpose utility classes right inside your HTML. Let's say you want to style a button to have some padding, a background color, maybe a hover effect, and some rounded corners. With traditional CSS, you'd create a class like custom button, switch over to your style sheets, write the rules, save, and refresh. With Tailwind, all of that happens in one place. You simply import the Tailwind style sheet, drop in utility classes that define how it should look, and you're done. It's like inline styles, but cleaner, scalable, and theme aware. One of its biggest benefits is that you style as you go. No context switching between your HTML and CSS files. You get instant feedback that speeds everything up. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, isn't this what Bootstrap does? Well, not really. Bootstrap gives you components with fixed designs. Say you want a card. Cool, here's a Bootstrap card. But if you want to change how it looks, you have to override the style or add custom CSS. It's opinionated. What you see is what you get. Tailwind is different. It gives you raw building blocks. It's unopinionated by design. Instead of handing you a pre-built card, it hands you the tools to build your own exactly how you want it using a consistent set of low-level utilities. You also don't have to think about naming anything. No more debating whether to call it .main button or .primary button or .cta. And thanks to built-in tools like Purge CSS, Tailwind only includes the styles that you actually use in production. That means smaller CSS bundles and faster load times. Frontend developers love Tailwind because it shortens the feedback loop. You write HTML, add styles, and immediately see the results, all in one file. And if you're working in a component-based framework like React, Vue, or Svelte, Tailwind fits right in and feels natural to use. But not all front-end developers like it. Some people find its class-heavy syntax a little bit noisy at first. However, most devs who try it go through the same cycle. They're skeptical at first, then after a few projects, they never want to go back. So have you used Tailwind CSS in your projects? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. As always, follow my codes for more programming videos like this.